Well, my friends, I'm lucky to say the Dapple Grays. Welcome to Sedgen Country. Oh, hey, thank, thank you. you. Thanks, thanks, you. Thanks. Right. Introduce everybody. Thanks, Sam. <laughs> Over here to my left, we got Mr. Greg Ernest. Okay. Um, stand in the back, we got Keith Morse. Sitting here looking pretty, we have Leah Calvert. Back here, we have Casey Cook, and I'm Michael Smith. There you go. All right. Where'd the name Dapple Grays come from? Well, I was reading a book. It was The Count of Monte Cristo. And I was on chapter 47, and uh, someone said, hey, we need a band name. What should we call it? I said, how about Dapple Grays, which was the, t t the title. Okay. And we didn't really like it. But we couldn't think of anything better, so we kept it. So. <laughs> it's, 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 been, it's been pretty good for you it's, so far? It's been good. It's been good. It's been good. Um, how long has the band, band been together? Well, uh, this configuration um, for about four years now. Uh, the band originally started in 1999-2000, and we've kind of changed some personnel over the last few years. So. For better or for worse? Oh, for, 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 for better. Just or just kidding. different. I don't want to make any of the old guys there you upset. Go. Yeah. It's just different. <laughs> just kidding. It's always, different. Everybody always played bluegrass? We've all actually kind of played everything through the years. We've all primarily played bluegrass, but we've always experimented with lots of different types of music. Where are you guys from? Uh, Atlanta, basically. Yeah. Marietta. Right. Marietta. Okay. Right. Right. Well, Georgia. Atlanta, Georgia. I'm going Georgia. to say Georgia boys because you're here now. That's right. <laughs> there you go. I'm, I'm close to a boy. Right. <laughs> okay. I set the fire up earlier, so you know. <laughs> Let's talk. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Let's talk about doing my job. Ooh, that's an album you guys have out, a CD. Talk it is. It is uh, that's our latest album. It came out about a year ago, and we're uh, in the process of starting to record our next one. Doing My Job's done well for us. Uh, that's also the title cut off the record. And uh, we've had a great time, you know, kind of promoting it. What last kind of year. songs are on that? What uh, we've, people a lot of, to hear? we've got some original tunes, but, you know, progressive uh, bluegrass um, and some traditional stuff, too. A lot of original tunes that we've done, and then we've pulled some, some songwriting uh, tunes from friends of ours that we've decided to do as well. So, um, you know, that, that kind of sums it up. Who's the songwriter in the group? All of us. Oh, wow. All of us to some extent, yeah. All right. I think so in other words, doing my job as a collection of songs showcasing the individual and collective talents as far as songwriting and instrumentation is concerned. Yes, sir. That's, that's, awesome. that's, yes. that's, yes. that's yes. the best summation I've heard. And, uh, Can we copy that? <laughs> I think I wrote that. Yeah, I'll, I'll send you a copy of the show. <laughs> and anyone who's interested can, uh, can find our CD uh, through uh, cdbaby.com, mm -hmm. uh, also on iTunes, <laughs> and through our website, DappledGraysMusic.com. Yeah. Talk to me about In the Gate. Oh, hello. Well, Ooh, reaching back. Look yeah. out. That's, you know. <laughs> in the Gate was uh, the first album we had. Me, Casey and I are the only original members. And In the Gate is mostly um, instrumental music, kind of a jazz, bluegrass fusion, um, very progressive, not very much vocals, kind of in the style of like David Grossman Quintet, Tony Rice, some of these guys that are real progressive bluegrass player so we wrote all original music and did that um, that not trying to be commercially successful just trying to make art really and um, so it's very different than what we do now with with Lee and everyone else and doing a lot of you're, vocals you're more traditional now we're a lot more traditional now even though we're still we're still not traditional compared to some other bluegrass bands we're, we're definitely a lot more traditional especially because mostly what we do is vocals which is more which is went over bigger with the public with your fans Actually, surprisingly both both Although this one's probably, an audience, done. yeah, probably. it's okay. a different kind of audience. You know, people people really connected to Leah's vocals a lot. She's got a very strong voice, a good stage presence, and that's been a very good thing for the band. You two are steeped in the history of bluegrass music and totally emerged in the form. Is that a, you steeped in bluegrass music? Yeah, pretty much. You know, Casey, I'll let him tell about this. I'll just I'll just set this up. Casey's family was a uh, was called a, a bluegrass band called Special Cooking. I heard right about it's coming up. Casey and his brother were the youngest uh, duo uh, to be inducted into the North Florida Bluegrass Hall of Fame as, as being professional bluegrass players. Oh, I got that. So, um, yeah, so he, there's a lot of bluegrass there. Mm -hmm. And I learned, we grew up next door to each other as kids. We were best friends. And so, you know, being next to him, his family and all that, that's how I kind of learned about the music. So. Creative Loafing Magazine, blue, best bluegrass band in Atlanta. Flat picking gave you a good good re review, too. How about the, um, the music on MTV? That had to be cool. Yeah. <laughs> that was uh, you, Casey? Well, that was Michael and I from the first record in the okay. gate. We, uh, my father wrote a tune years ago called The Ark, and uh, I kind of helped finish it up, and it was put on, an, on, a, on a reality show. A couple of the tunes off of In the Gate were put on some reality shows for, for soundtracks uh, for different programs for MTV. So that worked out well for us, and uh, if MTV's out there watching, we'd love to do another one. <laughs> 
Casey uh, teaches bluegrass guitar at Denison oh. University in Ohio. Oh, so wow. he's oh, he's actually one of the few bluegrass professors out there. So kind of what we do is during professor during of professor, professor of bluegrass. Dr. So during Dr. the summer, Professor Casey. Yeah, Professor Casey. So during the <laughs> I prefer just professor. <laughs> during the, the cook. Yeah. During the summer, what we try to do is while he's off for those three yeah. months or four yeah. months, we push a lot of playing in, and then we still do some on the on the rest of the year to keep up. What are the goals for Dabble and Gray? Oh, just to keep playing. We. We've been real fortunate, uh, Michael and I, since we got to play with, with uh, these have all become our closest right. friends, and as much as we can play, um, is, that's our goal. Uh, we, don't, we don't really want anything more than that, just to play as much as we can and, and do it for as long as we can. Give the website one more time, because we're going to wrap this up. You guys got to go to work. And www.dappledgraysmusic.com. Look us up, come see us, come say hi. We'd love to hear from you. Grays with an A. Thank you so much. Yeah. Grays with an A. <laughs> oh, Grays with an A. There you go. Could be the way. That's yeah. very good. Well, thank you for being on Southern Country. Appreciate it. Thank, thank you very you. much.